Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Bisconti here and I've got this video where we're going to be working on some multiplication of decimals practice. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to share my screen and we're going to work on it with a special new tool that I have that allows me to write on the computer and that way we can practice our multiplication of decimals. So here we go. Um, let's make it nice and big so we have our nice big tablet to write on here. And we're gonna get this up, here we go. So our first problem today is 6.9 times 0 0.7. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing here is simply multiplying and making sure that our decimals are in the correct place. So we do simple multiplication first. Seven, uh, seven times nine is 63, so I'm gonna put my three here. I'm gonna carry my six into the tens place, and then we're gonna multiply seven times six, which is 42, and then we're gonna add our six to it. So I have 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and 48. Now I know I have decimals in my numbers, but I'm actually going to ignore my decimals for now. I'm going to add them at the end when I am ready to count the decimal places that I have to hop. Now, uh, in normal multiplication, we drop a zero into the ones place because we are done multiplying by the ones and now we're gonna be multiplying by the tens. I'm also gonna come up here and I'm going to erase my six because I don't need it anymore and I don't wanna confuse it. So we're gonna continue working. So here we go, zero. now this is nice because we're just multiplying by a zero. So zero times nine is zero and zero times six is also zero. So now we're up to the addition point where we add, and again, nice and easy because it's all zero. So I have a three, an eight, and a four. Now here's where we have to you know, really pay attention. I wanna make sure, let's put it in a different color, that I am counting each decimal place after the decimal, I have two decimal places after. So that means I need to make sure my decimal is two places within the number. So if my decimal is invisibly out here waiting to be used, we're gonna hop one place and two places. And my decimal is going to go here. So I'm gonna put my decimal place here. And this allows me to have the correct answer, which is four and 83 hundredths. And I know that this is correct because I only have the whole number six and I'm multiplying by less than a whole number. So I'm gonna have less than the whole number six. And even if I were to round this, it would get close to seven and this would get close to one and I would have less than that whole number down here. So let's go ahead and clear this off and let's work on another number this time I'll write in black. All right, so our next problem is 7.2 times 0 0.15 or 15 hundredths. All right, so notice that I have two decimal places down here on the bottom. They don't quite line up. You don't have to line up your decimals, not in multiplication because we will be placing the decimal in the correct place once our answer is done. So let's go ahead and start here. We have two times five, which is 10. And then we have five times seven, which is 35. We add our one, which is 36. So I'm in essence multiplying and forgetting about the decimal place until I need it. I'm gonna erase that carryover number because we won't need it yet. We already used it. Now we're gonna go into our tens because we're in our tens place, or in this case, our tenths place. And placing a zero here, we're all done multiplying with this number. And now we're going to multiply, which Easy mental math is 72 because one times any number is that number itself. All right, we're going into the next group of numbers here. So I'm gonna be multiplying out here in this place. So I'm gonna put a zero here and a zero here because we will not be multiplying into this, these place values. And this is again easy, it's all zeros. Very easy. I don't even need to if I don't want to write this number down there but we'll do it just so that we can see where it is. All right, so now we're gonna have to add. So that's zero, six plus two is eight, seven plus three is 10, carry that one and place the one here. All right, so here, let's go ahead and 
change our color so we can see the hop. I am looking at all the places after the decimal. So here is one place, two places, three places. So that means I'm hopping my decimal from out here where it is waiting to be used. I'm gonna hop it three places, one, two, and three. And I'm gonna place it here. So my answer is one and eight hundredths. I can even drop that zero off the end. We don't need it there. And so there is our answer. So let's go ahead and clear and do another one. I'm gonna give us four problems today that we're gonna work on. So I have one and five hundredths times five tenths. So we are gonna simply just do like we've been doing so far. We're gonna do our multiplication here. So five times five is 25. We're gonna regroup that two into this column here. Five times zero is zero. And then we're going to add two to zero, which gives us just a two. And then we have five times one, which is simply a five. We are done with this first row of numbers. So we're going to now jump into our next place value. So that means we are not working here. We're gonna put a zero there to remind ourselves that we're working here. And again, nice mental math, it's all zeros all the way across because zero times any number is just a zero. And that means this is actually pretty easy to add. We're just gonna end up with 525, but we are not done yet. Let's go up here and let's grab that green pen and let's look at our place values after the decimal. I have one, two, and three. So the reason I start out here is that any whole number has this invisible decimal out here waiting to see if there are gonna be any partial uh, place values. And so if it's not in use, I can take it and now jump it one, two, and three and place my decimal here. Now that doesn't look so nice. So when I rewrite my answer, I'm actually gonna put a zero and 525 thousandths. So we're here in the thousandths place. So I'm going to say 525 thousandths. All right. One last problem. Let's go ahead and change our pen back to black. And here we go. We have, I'm going to write a little higher to make sure I have space for this one 325 and one tenth. So if you want to write this number as a fraction, it's 325 and one tenth. That's pretty much the same thing there. All right. So we are multiplying by nine hundredths. So if we were writing this as um, a fractional multiplication, we would have times, let's go ahead and change it back to our pen. We would have times nine tenths. So we would have to rework this problem into an improper fraction first and then do our multiplying. So I just wanted to give you this because we've been working on fractions so far, this is what this problem looks like. They're equal to each other. Just one is in fractions and one is in decimals. All right, here we go. We have nine times one, which is nine. Nine times five, which is 45. And let's carry that four. Nine times two, which is 18. And now we add on four, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I place my two here, carry my two up here. All right, so nine times three is 27. 28, 29. Probably the most multiplying we've had to do this whole time. Everything else is zeros. We can place them all down here, but I'm actually going to skip that step. And instead, I'm going to look at where my decimal is going to go. So let's count those decimal places. I have one, two, and three. So I'm going to take my invisible decimal out here and skip one, two, and three. So my answer is 29 and 259,000. So make sure that decimal is nice and clear there. All right, this is how to multiply with decimals in both numbers. Remember, you have to count the places behind the decimal of both numbers that you're multiplying. So I have one place here and two places here. One plus two equals three places. So I have to jump one, two, and three places to place my decimal. All right, I hope you're doing well in your Think Central.
keep up the good work. And if you have any questions, please feel free to call me. And this was Mrs. Visconti. Woo! <laughs> I'll see you later. Goodbye.